welcome to our field. Today it's less hot. It's a good day to go outside. Here we have a little flower patch. There's nothing coming out now. And a little kale. Sang Chu. Here have we Gurke Cucumber. These days we have like 10 cucumbers a day. This is the chili drying machine. Dehydrator. Here we have tomatoes. Big tomatoes. Look at this. Mmm. All organic. Not yet, not yet, not yet right. Here I don't really know what this is. I think it is sweet potato. They don't look so good. They're not being watered automatically. So maybe they need some more water. Look at this cherry tomatoes. They look like grapes. Nice. Here we have corn, corn 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 up till back there here we have negi what is that spring onions yeah here we have sukkat and also yeah some more negi is it this is like big negi this is small negi and then i have to ask my husband what this is i forgot i think not be, not beans. Where are the beans? Here we have genip, perilla leaves. Here we have more cherry tomatoes. Oh, yo, yo, cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes. Some more perilla. And here, all of this is our chili field. All of these beautiful chilies. We wait for them to ripen um, red. Nicely red because then we're gonna dry them ground them up and then sell them for you know to, We're gonna make chili pepper powder for kimchi use And this little patch is uh, for the aunt of my husband. We don't really take care of that and I don't really know what's growing there um, Here's some more corn. Oh, oh, yeah, and all of this up here. This is our um, compost toilet and a water tank and here is the EM that my husband is making. It's actually better than EM. I don't really know what it is called in English. I will look it up and um, probably subtitle this part. Yeah, all up, all this up here until our greenhouse. No, this is not a greenhouse. What is this? This is a house. In Korean we just say house. It is a house. This is where we're gonna dry the chili peppers in the sun before we ground them up. And then here, yeah, all of this is ch more chili peppers, more chili peppers. And here we have more corn. And now I'm gonna go down this aisle because this one you've seen from the other side. So I'm gonna take this aisle and explain to you what we have here. Here we have, oh, here we have, here we have zucchini, but nothing came out yet. So I think they are a bit, a bit later than cucumbers. And this is, <laughs> this is a mixture of, okay, here we have chamwe. It's a Korean me melon. Maybe it's also called oriental melon, I think, but it's a Korean melon. And it's like only this big, as big as your hand, sort of. And yeah, uh, there's many flowers coming out. So I think in a month or so, we're gonna have some Korean melons. And these are um, dengcho. They're small, but really super spicy chili peppers. And on this side, we have see for yourself we have little yes yes subaki style yogi three gaji wow jincha nyeochu mane two bae kosseyo hana chume biri biri hadani yeah we're gonna have our own watermelons first they didn't turn out that well they looked very unhealthy but now they're doing better so all this up here 
into the dark plant. This is the spicy chili pepper. This is um, yeah, this is also watermelon. Hopefully there's something coming out here. Doesn't really look like it, but maybe here. This look at this. This is this tiny thing here. Uh, this tiny thing here beneath the flower. This is what I'm talking about. It's smaller than my pinky nail. This is gonna be a, a watermelon of paprika. They're quite small. They're gonna be uh, red. I was told they're red. My mother-in-law planted those for me. And then here we have some more paprika, and this is da 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 da. We um. We just picked some yesterday, so these ones are quite small. Eggplants. The ones we picked are were as big as my, you know, forearm. Yeah, um, this is cabbage. Cabbage, not that big yet. We're gonna leave it a, uh, a bit longer. More cabbage. This was broccoli. We harvested all of the broccoli. You can see here. It was broccoli and then here we have uh, some more oriental melons but as I said um, there's still the flowers going on so you can't see any any fruit yet oh yeah maybe beneath the flowers yeah you can see something is going on you can see it here here there's gonna be a wa uh, not watermelon a Korean melon and then here was, you can still see the leftovers from the harvest, here was red cabbage. I'm going to show you the nice red cabbage uh, once we're back in the kitchen. And here we have um, tanubak. Where's that? Um, pumpkin. Pumpkin. All of this is pumpkin. I'll show you this in the kitchen as well. And all, yeah, all this is also watermelon. So I'm not sure how much is gonna grow here because uh, actually uh, we actually thought they were dead but something is growing something is definitely going on here nice okay but that's not all of it we have some more corn 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 more we have onions and potatoes here but we had to harvest it early because we needed to put this one here because of the shade situation we didn't want to put it into the shade, so we kind of pulled it forward. It was we planned to put it more back to the wall, but there was too much shade. So we used to have um, potatoes and onions as well. They're all in the storage and kitchen now. So this is the field that I just showed you. Ding. Uh, oh yeah, we also have some strawberries back there, but they're almost done because it's July already. This is a fee this is um kaki, persimmon tree and a yuja tree or yuzu. In Japanese you say yuzu, maybe you're more familiar with the term yuzu, it's a citrus citrus tree. And um the neighbor uh asked us to manage this uh, yard so we put it we turned it into a vegetable patch and this is where we're also going to grow um, Chinese cabbage and chili peppers and maybe some stuff for the minbak <laughs> for the homestay people who stay here um, so they can when they have the Korean barbecue they can get some you know some leaves for their meat yes Excuse the chaos, please excuse the chaos. So this is pumpkin that we got from the um, neighbor who is um, growing pumpkins for a living. He's a farmer, he grows pumpkins for a living. And this is the pumpkin that came out of our garden. Uh, we didn't actually plant pumpkins. This one just came out of the compost. And here you see how good just, you know, natural compost is. And um, the guy who farmed this, he sprays it with, you know, pesticides and herb is it herbicides fungicides whatever he sprays a lot and um yeah look at this one no chemical um whatever this came out of a seed from a pumpkin that i had that i bought in the store and just you know put into the compost and yeah here we have uh what is what i made ma make from the onions these are pickled onions they're so delicious and here in our storage room here's a kitchen door that leads to the storage room here we have some more onions 
Da -da -da -da. And here's some more. Da -da -da -da. You have to you have to air them so they don't go too bad. Yes, and here you can see our beautiful red cabbage. Actually, the color got very deep. It was quite pinkish just one or two days ago when we picked them. Now they became super pinky purple. It's so beautiful. Look at this organic red cabbage. Uh, I'm gonna make a Rotkohl, German style sauerkraut with this. And then we will see. We already gave away a few. These are the ones that are left to me. I still think it's a lot because. Who eats red cabbage, cabbage uh, this much? Even if I pickle it, it's gonna last us forever. Yay! This is our pet and already harvest. Wow. 